Hey guys, what's up? Pixel Glitch here, back for another video. I keep doing that. I keep saying Pixel Glitch. Pickle Glitch. Eh, I'm not a pickle. Pickle Glitch. That sounds funny. Anyways, guys, so we're back for another Redstone video. I actually made this by accident. But, anyways, here it is, whether or not. So, we're going to throw some snowballs, guys. Have a snowball fight. You guys are probably wondering what's so special about this. You're like, oh, you see that snowball disappear. You're like, disappearing snowballs and then they re-come somewhere else hmm we don't the world may never know the world may never know okay so that was my disappearing snowballs invention i hope you all liked it but never mind i'm just kidding don't worry guys here we go this is what i was gonna show you that what do you think guys isn't it awesome it just poofed out of nowhere. Now, guys, I know what you're thinking. You guys are like, what? You had to set up ahead of time, didn't you? It's like cloned somewhere over there. Guys, no. Look. Look at this. Blocks are interfering with each other. How can you easily make that? And the point is, it's an awesome curve. Look at that curve, guys. Now, the, anyways, that, as I was saying, you guys are probably wondering, teach me. But... Anyways, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So first, we're going to just run a little command. And there we go. Now they're all gone. And as you can see, you probably know how it works already. So this is just a simple fill command. You might not use those exact same coordinates as me. Because you can use F3 and it'll show you which way you're facing. For me, it was the Z coordinates or Z. And then, so right here is the most important command block in all of it. It's Ex well, if we go back to the beginning here, it's executing any entity that is a type of snowball, and then it is summoning an armor stand three blocks below it that is invisible and has no gravity. So that is all that command is. And then this one over here is what makes it really happen. You could definitely make like another command block over here that does it so it does it instantly, but I like doing that that way you can see it afterwards but this is one of the newer commands I've learned and one of the newer commands there is but is replace item entity of, of at e type armor stand slot dot armor dot head which is the helmet slot with minecraft diamond blocks you can do any blocks you want just to prove it to you let's say you're not a fan of diamonds you like emeralds like your villager or something emerald and then block just give it the name of the block okay start up the clock again pew and pew and pew and pew oh never mind pew pew okay there we go and that one almost hit the ground stop the clock so you don't get too big a lag spike and bam there we go guys so you got straight up you got this and I can definitely see a lot of map makers doing this you could do it with fishing rods by using the unknown entity which basically how you do that is I'll, I'll do it in a later video guys because I'm betting you guys are thinking oh you're gonna be too excited pixels um, but anyways so we got these awesome curves it would take me days to make this with blocks probably months because I'm a horrible builder but now you can just and let's say you don't like it you can kill all the armor stands and then so that is it guys I swear look nothing underground I swear this is all it is I swear because how would I even activate stuff under there I don't know anyways this is all it is try it out for yourself but if you're wondering here's how you get a command block so you can slash give and then it can either be at P or you can press tab and get your username. And then you type in C O M M tab and then press enter and you got yourself a lovely command block. And that is it for today guys. Nice simple little tutorial on how to make armor stand art. And that is it for today. I will see you guys later and goodbye.